Hi y'all, it's Kimberly here. Thank you for coming to my channel. Um, I think my intros, I had a couple little intros I made on yesterday when I went to work. We worked overtime on Saturday and uh, I was so exhausted when I got off. And uh, my tomato plant was really shriveled up. I didn't know if it was gonna survive. I watered it last night when I came home and it, I mean, it was just almost dead. I'm really horrible. Ooh. Usually when I haven't planted in the ground, then I'm really good at taking care of them. But sometimes when I have like house plants sitting around, I just tend to forget. I'm so busy and oh, I feel sorry for them. Uh, I can kind of take care of cactuses because they don't need a lot of water. <laughs> so sometimes it's okay if I forget. But um, I just have one tomato plant. I usually have a whole full garden. I've got a couple of, I think one, maybe one or two garden videos from way, way back years ago at the very beginning of my channel I just unloaded it from my phone and I think maybe just one I don't remember but um, I have to still prep the ground so I might be doing that tomorrow when I get through with this video I'm gonna I'm gonna go home and do that and see I think it should be hopefully it revived I put it in a whole I mean a poured a whole bunch of water in it and put the bottom of the pan in a thing of water so maybe it'll revive it. It usually does so hopefully. Um, so I gotta prep the ground and do all that and if I do it tonight then I'll take the video and I'll make the video tomorrow. I don't know if I upload it today or tomorrow. But um, I, you know, I was so tired from work. We worked overtime and uh, today's Sunday so part of the beginning of this video might be a little confusing because it was done on yesterday when I went to work. But anyway, uh, I broke the microphone. I just ripped it apart by accident. I don't know how. You can see the little wires coming out and it goes in there. I tried to take it apart, but I couldn't tell. So I'm just going to have to buy another one. I hope the sound is okay on this. Um, and my car does not have air conditioning. So if you hear, there's some flags out there flapping, that's what that noise is, and there's trees and wind blowing. It's very hot here today, and it's going to be sweltering in the summer. Thank goodness I don't live in Arizona, though. I don't think I could take it there. I mean, or if I lived any further south, in South Texas, I don't, ugh. I always complain about the weather. If there's anybody new, that's one of my main crops. I complain about the hot weather that we have here all the time. I complain about constantly. <laughs> Even in the winter time, I complain about it because sometimes we have like 85, 85 degree weather in the middle of winter time. And it's just one of my things that I do. I, I love to complain about the weather. But it, I mean, it's really beautiful. I mean, it's just a bright, beautiful, sunny day. I'm at the park. There's greenery everywhere. The trees are all got leaves it's beautiful I think I might bring my dog out my my pit corso the puppy that I have well she's actually she's she turned a year in um, God, the wind is really bad sorry maybe I can turn that I might be able to close it up a little bit I hope I don't melt in here hopefully okay maybe that's a little better I might bring her to the park I might take some videos of her too and um, it's just a beautiful, perfect day. And uh, I was at the, I just came to the park and uh, probably with my air conditioner in my car, it doesn't work. And I haven't been able to get it fixed yet. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it fixed this summer. I don't know. Because I'm planning on moving and hopefully to get into a bigger house. Because I live in a tiny house. And my dogs bark constantly, so that's why I don't make a lot of videos at home. And But I may have to make a few, so you may have to listen to my dogs bark when I'm making my videos for a while. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, just trying to, to roll with it. Um, and um, I was going to say that at work, our boss gave us a dinner at work and we went to this really great restaurant it was a super great restaurant it was like a home style restaurant with you know like chicken fried steak and uh, hamburger steak and stuff like that 
a lot of the food that I love, I love like home style country food and that's probably my favorite kind of food. And <clears throat> um, my the problem I have that I've discussed before that I have like this esophagus, I forget what it's called. It's got a medical name and it's where like my esophagus is really small and I have to chew my food really well and if I don't, I can choke on it easily. And I've choked so many times and well actually I was at the restaurant and I ordered a hamburger steak if anybody doesn't know what that is it's hamburger meat and they fry it into a, a big patty and they put like um, onions or jalapenos grilled onions jalapenos sometimes they put bell peppers it depends on the restaurant and sometimes they'll put it in the middle, they fold it over, and then they put a brown gravy over it. And they usually serve it with like rolls or Texas toast or uh, maybe like mashed potatoes and gravy or french fries or something, tater tots, something like that. It usually comes with like a vegetable or a lot of times with potatoes, like mashed potatoes, yeah, like the french fries, tater tots. That's usually what it's served with because they put the brown gravy over it too. And I ordered that. It's one of my favorite things. And it was huge. It was massive. And I'm, I've am i never been to this restaurant. It's about 45 miles away from where I live. It's um, not very far from where I work from because I work pretty far from where I live. I have to travel about 30 miles to work. And then it's about another 10 or 12, I'd say less than 15 miles to get to the restaurant from my work. And I've never been there before. It's a really great restaurant. And I think I'm going to go and maybe do a... If I can do a diner blog, vlog, mukbang, I don't know what to call it. I mean, I don't want to attract a lot of attention in the restaurant, but if I can take like some pictures or a short video of it, just to show you. The size of my plate was like this big. It was huge. And the chicken fried steak they had there, I mean, it was oh, probably about that big. And... It's one of the best restaurants I've ever eaten at, and I've never, I didn't even know it existed. And, uh, well, anyway, got the hamburger steak, sat down, and I ordered mine with uh, jalapenos, and she asked me if I wanted them to be uh, grilled or pickled, and I like the pickled jalapenos because I really can't take the, with fresh jalapenos, um, uh, they're, you, know, you can't tell if they're going to be mild or really, really hot. Some of them are super hot. And I just can't take the hot ones and um, because I have a little bit of allergies and a lot of uh, hot, really hot peppers. Most people are allergic to them. They just don't know it. And it swells up the inside of your throat and your nasal passages and everything like that. So a lot of people, when you're actually choking, when it's really hot, your membranes are becoming inflamed. And there's several people who've uh, passed away from... Uh, eating too hot of a chili pepper and <clears throat> it happens every year they just don't know that they're you know very sensitive to it or you know very allergic to it and when my plate came to the table it had uh, I could see the jalapenos on it and I thought they looked like fresh jalapenos that they just grilled not the pickled ones I love pickled jalapenos they're they're usually not hot and they're very, they're kind of sweet and they're a little tangy and I love I love pickled jalapenos on my food and um, especially on a hamburger steak and um, I kind of thought they were the fresh ones but I didn't want to be a Karen and send it back you know so I was like oh well I'll just I'll eat it anyway and it probably won't be that hot so I got me a big chunk of meat and it had a big jalapeno on it and I put some got a little bit of the grilled onion took a bite of it and I started to choke. It went, it hit the back of my throat and my throat is always dry. I have a problem with dry throat all the time. I'm constantly drinking something. And when you're, you're eating a really hot jalapeno and then it hits a dry spot in your throat, it makes you start coughing and choking. And I did that in front of my whole work crew. <laughs> and they were all like, are you okay? Are you okay? And they're like watching me. And I was like, <coughs> you know, but I was like, I didn't want anybody to start hitting me on the back because that actually makes it worse. If unless if your turn upside side down, your head is facing the ground, then hitting somebody on the back, it that actually can help. But if they're standing up or sitting up 
and you're hitting them on the back, it makes it worse. It makes them choke even harder. It's like trying to, it's like you're being beaten up while you're being choked. So that really doesn't work. And I was just like, you know, and then I was trying to drink Coke and I nearly got it down. Actually, it took about a minute. I was, <coughs> it was so embarrassing, God. And I had to do it working for everybody. And um, well, I nearly got it down. I was just trying to swallow that jalapeno, just get out of my mouth, you know. And it was too far down for me to spit it up, and I really didn't want to do that on my big plate, and I didn't want to do that in front of everybody. So I was just trying to swallow it, and um, then I took a big drink of Coke, and I thought I could swallow it down. Almost did that, or halfway did it. And then through my mind went all these thoughts of, oh my God, what if they have to do the Heimlich Maneuver? I'm so fat, they won't be able to do it. And I started imagining all these people, and I work with mostly guys. There's like just a few girls, and I was like, oh my God, they're going to have to take turns trying to <laughs> do the Heimlich Maneuver on me. Oh my God, and it was so, and I started laughing while I was choking, and I nearly spit my Coke into my plate. And that made it worse, you know, to be embarrassed and then you're thinking of something funny while you're choking and it was just it was so embarrassing it was, <laughs> can't take me anywhere it's just like oh my god but that was an experience that hasn't happened to me in a long time usually I can control it when I'm out eating I mean it's happened to me several times but that's why a lot of times I just take food home I'm if I'm by myself um and but I have to sit there and it takes me a while to eat my meal some people can finish by the time I barely got served mine and I ate like just a few bites and the guy almost across from me, he had the same plate, the same hamburger steak plate. He already finished his and I was just barely eating mine. So I have to take, you know, it takes me a while. I have to chew my food really good or I can choke on it. I have a tendency to choke on it. So, And it's a procedure that they do where they... They have to put you to sleep, and then they put this tube thing in your esophagus, and they somehow they they widen it. I don't know what they do really. I mean, it's I've never really considered doing it. I mean, I just I know it's available, but I don't. Mine's really not that severe as long as I chew very good and not eat scalding hot jalapenos, because when it uh, even after. A few hours after I ate it, I could feel my throat was still, um, my, like my mouth was inflamed in my throat. I could still feel it, you know. And it was one of the hottest jalapenos I've eaten in a long time. I've eaten hot jalapenos by accident. And even the, around my mouth, it was a little bit burned. My lips were a little bit puffy. And uh, it was, when even the girl next to me, she had the, she ordered jalapenos on her burger. And she took one bite, and she had to scrape all of them off, even after, and I could still taste the jalapeno. I pushed them all to the side of my plate, and I could still taste them in my food. It was, it, it added a little bit of spice, a little bit of heat. That was okay, but, I mean, I couldn't even eat the rest of them. And usually I can chop them up real fine and eat them, but those were so stinking hot. Oh, my God, I haven't tasted jalapenos like that in a long time. Ah, well... Okay, um, thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you, everybody, and I'll be back with another video.